That's a terrible idea. No, it's a great idea. You got 10 million views just by throwing a block of dry ice into the water. I don't care how many views he got. Trust me, this is going to be a viral video. Kevin, the answer is no. You are not setting the pool on fire. So the plan is to set my pool on fire with diethyl ether and hopefully put it out with two and a half gallons of liquid nitrogen. Diethyl ether is crazy flammable and notorious for blowing up chemistry labs. We all know that fire needs oxygen to burn and these 10 liters of liquid nitrogen will turn into 10,000 liters of nitrogen gas. So hopefully that'll be enough to smother the fire and put it out, hopefully. Two and a half gallons of liquid nitrogen. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, come on. Yes, it works. Woo, do you see that? That is so cool. Now, I've got to admit, I've had my doubts against this experiment, but it turns out it worked better than I expected. The flames put up a pretty good fight, but in the end, the liquid nitrogen won, and it made a pretty cool tornado. And you can see on the thermal camera that the liquid nitrogen put out the flames and cooled the whole place down. Whoa! Look at this. It's out in the yard. This is so cool. Look at that. Oh, that looks like a different planet. What do you think about that? Awesome? That was awesome. That was cool. The reason this works so well is because liquid nitrogen floats on top of water and it hangs around for a while and it creates a blanketing layer of nitrogen gas which keeps the oxygen away from the fire and it looks really cool floating on top of the water and skidding across like that. It was so cool that this dragonfly had to come check it out. All right, so I also got about 15 pounds of dry ice, so let me try throwing that in the pool also. Three, two, one. I put my camera underwater at the perfect time because there was a little tornado underwater that picked up my GoPro camera and tossed it around. I think a bunch of small pieces of dry ice clumped together and somehow made an underwater tornado. It was pretty cool, I just tossed around my GoPro and no damage was really done. And just sat there at the bottom of the pool, according to dry ice, bubbling away. Alright, now we're going to see if the dry ice can put out the diethyl ether. It worked out perfectly. The bubbles of dry ice formed a blanketing layer of carbon dioxide on top of the pool, which put out the fire pretty much immediately. Now, I should have stopped there, but I did this again and kind of ended up catching my hand on fire a little bit. Good thing I was next to a pool because that would have hurt if I left it on fire. Anyway, everything turned out all right in the end. All right, check back next week for another episode of The Backyard Scientist, where safety, I mean, having fun is the number one priority. Did you just set the pool on fire? No! No way! That's a terrible idea! No, it's not. He got 10 million views just by chucking a drop of... What are you talking about? It's a great idea. He got 10 million views just by chunk it, by throwing a, again. Sorry, Duffy just jumped up. All right, say I don't care how many views he got. Shit. And it made like a tornado of smoke.
Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. When was this? Like five minutes ago? Yeah, like five minutes. You didn't see the fire. It was like almost we to the top. Out here. Oh man, I'm gonna post it tomorrow. <laughs>